Hi, I hope you enjoyed that and learned a lot. Let's take a look at my solutions. Here's my lab 260 underscore 1. And I have to put total text, banana dot total text. I have to import that. So here's how I do it. I am getting the magic file of this lab 260 underscore 1. And we have that in the work here directory. And that whole directory should come back from this split, which then gets joined up with its parent. And that's what goes into my syspath at the zeroth element. And I'm successful then at finding banana total text. And I can use it. And I'm using it here in total it. But first, we'll take a look at main. Our specification tells us to take in a file name interactively. So here I'm asking for a file name. And I'm just going to hang there because I said end equals nothing. I'm going to call input to collect whatever my user has to say. Well, here this time I'm going to do an accept, and I'd give a tuple of exception types, keyboard interrupt and end of file error. These are the things that come out when the user does a control C or control D, control Z, that sort of thing. And instead of letting the error that's caused by these raise, I'll just collect them, go to the new line, and then I'm done. If the user gave me some nothing, I'm done. Otherwise, I have a file name, and I'll put it into my total file. If something comes back, I give a report. OK. Looking at total file, here comes in the file name. And I have a try except wrapped around my width where I open the file and give it an open file object identifier. And I push that into the total it. Now total it, I'm using the word stream here. I think that's a great identifier because I could use this function for all kinds of open file like objects open for reading. That could come from reading a socket or spawning a process and collecting the standard out. Lots of ways you can get something that can be that stream. So in comes our stream. We start our total at zero. And we're doing a try except as I read each line. Now, if the line has in it something that cannot be read in ASCII that must be stored in Unicode, then it, I'm considering it not regular text, like a PDF will give me that. And I'm just going to catch that error. And I am going to return whatever that total is so far. Otherwise, I just go line by line. And here I am using my big long line of an import to count up the numbers that are on that line. And that's what I return. And that's what gets returned out of total file. Unless there's a problem, and I wrote, write that to standard error, and then I return a zero so that I don't print out any report, and I've done it. Let's look at the output. When I ran this, I gave it numbers.txt, which was the parent of the parent, where I'm at, and it tells me the total. I gave it a no file, meaning that there is no such file. I gave it a bogus file name, and it gave me a nice report about that. This time I did Control D, which gave me the EOF error. And then I did it with Control C, Control C, which is a keyboard error. I know you have to do something a little different in Windows. Maybe it's a Control Z. I don't know. When I look at that text file, so that I can count it up and make sure that there isn't an error in my imported number counting file. There it is. You might have tried running that program from different directories. Here we're going to import it. I must be in my labs 260 directory because I am not doing anything to my syspath. But I will find Apple. And Apple is right off this directory. So from there, I can go into Apple Work here and pick that up, what I just wrote. I'll call it Totaler. 
Now then, in my main, I'm going to call total deep, and I'm just going to give it my parent. And the parent of this one is my labs directory, so that ought to be a lot of numbers. Let's see. Total deep. I'm going to set total and number of files to zero. And now I'm doing that walk. And I'm looking at all the file names. I don't care anything about the dir names. I am getting the whole path of each of these files by doing the join with this dir. And then I'm running my total file on it, which is in totaler, which I imported way up there. And it gives me back a number, and I keep adding that into my total. And I keep adding one to my number of files. Unless I got some kind of an error and I print that, but then I just go on. And then, in the end, I return the number of files and that big total. When I ran it here on labs, I got that big number, 48 files. And on this one, I did this. This is good for Unix types of operating system, this 2 ampersand. The 2 means collect the standard error and put it out to dev null, which is to nowhere. There it goes away. I don't want to see it. So here I'm actually doing it another time from another spot where I can get more files in a bigger number. Okay, that's it for packages. I hope you enjoyed that new knowledge. I'll see you when you're ready to move on.